you're welcome back we trust that this discussion is getting interesting hallelujah let's see what pastor has to say more further she says never allow what your physical senses perceive what you see hear or feel determine the circumstances of your existence don't judge after the sight of your eyes neither reprove after the hearing of your ears isaiah chapter 11 and verse 3 don't look at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are subject to change second uh, uh, corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18 so she says fix your gaze on god's eternal and infallible word only and maintain the faith response all the time oh if you have your rhapsody underlines a word is a never allow never you are not to allow even a single time never allow what your physical senses perceive then you can underline again don't judge after the sight of your eyes don't judge don't judge because you, know, you can make a lot of mistakes when you are judging from the sight of your eyes then he says she says fix your gaze on god's eternal and in fallible word only only that's that's the way you have to look you don't have any other way to look remember what happened to peter peter was walking on water but as he removed his eyes from the master the same water which was holding him in the same water he was sinking and that what happens when you start with your when you start your faith walk with the lord you have to keep looking at him he is the author and finisher of our faith remember the life you have been called into is a life of faith only and we have been shown the way to live this life you have to keep your gaze on the master and maintain the faith response all the time hallelujah you have to maintain that response don't change that faith response today you are speaking in faith oh i'm healed i'm healed i'm the healed of god and again somebody comes to visit you and you're saying oh there's pain Mm-hmm. Doctor said that this is what has happened. <laughs> so, so you are changing your response every time you are uh, saying something. You are you are responding in faith, and the next time when something happens, you say, "Oh, it's paining, it's paining." Don't change your faith response. Whatever you are saying in faith, keep saying it. Keep on it. Don't look at what's happening. Don't look at the pain. Don't see. Uh, don't look at the things that are seen. whatever is seen they are just for a moment they are just temporary but see at the unseen that is your healing if you can't see your healing see it with your with your with the eyes of faith praise the lord hallelujah don't change your faith don't response don't change it don't don't change your response and so maintain the faith response not the fear response not the doubt response mm-hmm. not the doctor's response yes doctor will give his own response you give your own faith response yes it might look stupidity to you that you went to check and doctor gave you a report keep on your own report hmm. keep on your own response you don't have to give response according to doctor's report remember doctors read in a book what god has placed in you without reading a book hallelujah hmm, praise so, the lord so um, that remains the best thing so here we are uh, to do the confession together uh, pastor namita will lead us in that we'll take our confession for today i'm not moved i'm not moved by what i see by what i see feel feel or hear in the natural or hear in the natural rather rather my thoughts my thoughts words words and actions and actions are inspired by the spirit are inspired by the spirit through the faith in the in god's word through faith in god's word i i live a wonderful life a wonderful life of grace of, of grace and blessings and blessings because i live in because i live in and by the word and by the word hallelujah 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 that's a beautiful message what do you see to understand it further we have scriptures from further study and the first has been taken from second corinthians chapter 4 verses 17 to 18 let's read for a light affliction which is but for a moment worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory while we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal hallelujah 
The second scripture for further studies is taken from Hebrews chapter 11 and verses 1 to 3. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have one year Bible reading plan in the New Testament book of John uh, chapter 3 verses 1 to 21. In Old Testament 2 Samuel chapter 22. Two year Bible reading plan is taken for the, for the New Testament. It's taken from chapter 8, Mark chapter 8 verses 10 to 21. And from the Old Testament it's taken from Numbers chapter 9. In our extra information segment today, we have praise report from the readers of Rhapsody of Realities around the world. How this beautiful book is blessing the lives of millions. Enjoy this. Stay tuned. So much more coming your way on your favorite devotional program. In-depth study of the insightful teachings and revelations contained in the Messenger Angel. News updates. Praise reports translations, highlights, and so much more. Every episode is fresh and inspiring. Also available on Rhapsody of Reality's web TV. Don't miss a single day. My Extraordinary Strategist I was reported to the authorities for distributing Rhapsody of Realities in my workplace and was dismissed with immediate effect. When I got to my apartment that day, I listened to one of Pastor Chris's teachings titled The Extraordinary Strategist. The message filled my heart with peace and joy. Just a few days later, there was a bone of contention amongst the board members as regards my dismissal. I was later asked to resume with increased pay and was also granted permission to distribute Rhapsody of Realities in my office. Lungie, Saudi Arabia. Rhapsody of Realities restored my lost suitcase. I lost my suitcase while on transit from Manchester to London. My initial reaction was fear and anxiety, and then I started to cry. Immediately, the Holy Spirit told me to call forth the suitcase. I did this continuously, and after some days, I was reached via my contact details written in the personal information page of my copy of Rhapsody of Realities in my suitcase. The suitcase has since been returned to me. Benolia H. United Kingdom. Welcome back. Wow, those were so inspiring praise reports. Send in your own testimonies. Hallelujah. So do send your testimony and we know that you have been inspired and you're already seeing. Hallelujah. Praise and you're seeing with the eyes of faith and keep seeing with the eyes of faith till we come your way again all the way from the great nation of India. We want to say Dhanyavad. Oh, 
Rhapsody. 